The World Health Organization's founding mission is to bring the highest level of health to all. Drug resistance, we are warned by WHO's Director General Dr. Margaret Chan, needs urgent attention and action, as some treatment methods, such as antibiotics, may simply no longer be effective. The message on this World Health Day is loud and clear. The world is on the brink of losing these miracle cures. Let's pause for a moment. What does it mean? The emergence and spread of drug-resistant pathogens has accelerated. More and more essential medicines are failing. The therapeutic arsenal is shrinking. The speed with which these drugs are being lost far outpaces the development of replacement drugs. In fact, the R&D pipeline for new antimicrobials has practically run dry. In other words, resistance is moving faster than research. The implications are equally clear. In the absence of urgent, corrective, and protective actions, the world is heading towards a post-antibiotic era in which many common infections will no longer have a cure and once again, kill unabated. Everyone is at risk because uh, what you need is basically acquire a simple infection if you're dealing with a uh, resistant uh, organism and you're not uh, aware of it and you end up treating with normal antibiotic treatment, then you fail. And so some of these infections are lethal. It's a situation which is extremely serious. We cannot stop the development of antimicrobial drug resistance. This is a natural um, thing which these uh, microbes do. But one of the things that we can do is slow down the development so that we can stay ahead of it, so we can detect it, so we can respond to it effectively. And we are going to be uh, working to accelerate our efforts and working with partners to push up their efforts also. And that begins now. On World Health Day, WHO issued a comprehensive policy package to get all actors at the table. We need patients, we need community voices, we need the medical community, we need the agricultural community, we need the pharmaceutical industry and also the research industry as well as governments. And it's these kinds of groups which we need to raise the awareness in, uh, get agreement on the actions which are needed to go forward. And, and this is the only way we're going to be able to tackle something this big. No action today means no cure tomorrow. At a time of multiple calamities in the world, we cannot allow the loss of essential medicines, essential cures for many millions of people, to become the next global crisis. We must act now.